Okay, we have the new Silex from Merida. Uh, it's a mountain bike style road bike. <clears throat> Looks interesting, very, very tall head tube. Looks like a very long top tube and a zero offset. Every road is yours. Every road is yours, motherfucker. Carbon the fucker riding the Silex from Merida. I'm a fan of Merida product. They do offer lifetime warranty. And they do make most of the specialized bikes, so I definitely rate the Maritas. They're making a good quality product. Um, my critique with this bike, being an adventure bike, is I would say the chain, front training is a bit small. It can handle up to a 44 mil tire. So, yeah. Go big, go home. Latest technology, blah, blah, blah. So, it's got, I like, what I like about this bike, it's got uh, fender options, and it's also got rack options if you're inclined for the racks. But these days, bike packing bags are very common to put a big bike packing bag on there. But the fenders are good. Fenders make sense for adventure bikes, for sure. They, they make sense. Let's have a look at what models we've got here. What else we got down here? So you've got big tyre clearance, big stuff, rack fenders, the little cooling fins on the on the thing. Not, not bad colours. Let's have a look what they've got here. We've got alloy and carbon fibre. All right, we've got the Silex 200. So it starts off at the Silex 200. So that was sus. This is the base model Silex. What does Silex mean? Skrillex, Stillex. So it's got the new saw on there. Like, I like those new saw nine speed. So it's, it's a through axles, 12 mil. Let's have a look at the specs. It's a full capered fork. That new saw is really good shit. I like it, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's 48.32. That's better. A 46.30 would even be better. But so it's got a 1 1 ratio. Which is a, a good start as a minimum for an adventure sort of bike. I'd, I'd definitely, it looks like you could put mountain bike cranks. Oh, yeah, so here we go. You can put mountain bike cranks in this bad boy if you wanted to. You put mountain bike cranks on there and you get proper gearing for adventure bike. Looks nice. It's nicely finished. Nicely finished. Alright, so let's have a look at uh, the geometry here. So this is the geometry. So the head tube, it's got discs, so it might be a bit different. Wow, it's got a big head, head tube. Top tube. Wow, long top tubes. Interesting stuff. Wow. Wow. Wow, what's the stack and reach on these bad boys? Wow, stack is big. Big stack. Big stack, big reach. Interesting setups. Wow. Yeah, interesting. I'll put it this. It's an unusual geometry. I'll probably have to sit on one of these to see what I, I prefer. You always sit on a bike and see what you like the feel of. Stack. 644. Wow. So reach for me, max reach for me, would be for about 400, that's a big stack, 620. Ooh. I had a Cervelo and 600 stack, that's pretty good. Uh, the features, the carbon fork, blah, 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 Take the head tube, smooth welding, tunnel caving, smart entry, disc cooler, so it's handle, can handle DI2 through axles. Um, through axle, for the front, F mount. Okay. That's good. C mount. Um, interesting. Fender mount. Fixing points. Okay, let's have a look at that. Let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back to CX300. This internet's a little bit lagging today. Lagging. That's an interesting color. Wow. That's interesting. Very tall head tube. It's very reminiscent of a giant any road. Who's in the background yawning? Red color. This is here. I think we're getting to the carbon, getting the carbon world here. Yep. Oh, frame Silex light. So let me just check something from OCD. So we've got Silex light. Okay, so Silex light is the alloy. The green looks nice. The green looks nice. That's a 105 hydro discs. SRAM. Silex light still. Nice color. Nice color. The black. Eh. Not a real fan of that color. That's got Neo Tegra on there though. Neo Tegra. It's still an alloy frame. Interesting. Color's personal preference, things. Color's personal preference. What I like, you might not like. That, that, that probably look alright in the flesh. Full carbon. Oh, here we go. Here's the CF2. This is a carbon one. And with the rival, SRAM rival, which I've written. It works well. And here we have a carbon. It's Neo Tegra. What wheels are they? Fulcrums. Oh, I hate fulcrum wheels. They are shit. They are. The durability is shocking. Durability is shocking, in my experience. Fulcrum. <laughs> um, so there's another one. SRAM Force 1. 
interesting color. This is like a traditional sort of, uh, I think that's the, end, that's the end of the line. That's the end of the line. Let's have a look at what else we've got here. This full range. So it does look like a nice bike. I like the fender options. That's really cool. That's really cool. I'm not a fan of the fulcrum wheels though. I find fulcrum wheels um, quite cheap and nasty in terms of durability. So, okay. so we went for the range. So we've got a few carbon options, a few alloy options. So the geometry looks the same. Let's have a double check the geometry. If it is the same between the alloy and the carbon, I'd say it would be. I'd say it would be. Yeah, it's the same. Almost identical. Yeah, it seems exactly the same. With maybe a millimeter here and there. Um, there we go. There we go. So that's the uh, still the rack mounts on the carbon, nano carbon, uh, carbon four. Blah, 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 blah. Smart entry in this corner. Three axles. F mount. The F mounts. I like this. I want to see the racks in this bad boy. There you go. That's the uh, Merida range. Let's see what, what seat post diameter we got here. Seat post S flex thirty point nine. 30.9 is a pretty stiff seat post. I would would have rec I would have thought a 29.2, a 27.2. Sorry, would have been a better option. Let's see what the alloy ones have. Let's see if they all have that 30.9. That's a bit of a. I'm not sure. Okay, what's going on here? Settle down, internet. Settle down. All right, seat post, seat post, seat post. 30.9. Oh, that's a harsh ride. What are we doing here? What? Are, why have they gone that? Maybe. I mean, maybe 27.2 was. 27.2 is too flexy. Let's see what they do with the alloy. Alright, alloy, alloy, alloy. Oh, 30.9. I guess you'd have to have to ride one to really get an opinion of it. Um, but the 27.2 seat post, very, very comfy. A bit more flex. I'll try to get my hands on one of these for a test ride. Uh, we'll get back to you. 8.17 kilos, claim weight. Claim weight, not too bad. Not too bad. Leave comments, questions down below. Cab the fuck up, Marita the fuck up, and we'll see you on the Silex Street soon. Carbs, cab the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, steaks, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Cab the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.